Okay chaps, Matt here. Uh, firstly, apologies for uh, having not done a video for quite some time now. Uh, we've had most of our time taken up with sorting uh, the YouTube DJ channel shows out, the various different streams we've got going on. We've actually got another one coming soon because uh, the one we've currently streaming off, the YouTube DJ show, is getting a bit overloaded. So we're setting another one up. Uh, anyway, that's another story. Um, the video I'm doing today is on these boys, uh, the Pioneer CDJ 400s. Now as many as you, of you will know, I'm not uh, a particularly good mixer, so I'm not gonna give you any mixing tutorials, anything like that. More on a uh, technical note, really. Um, I'm gonna show you how to hook them up to one of these, i.e. a laptop, and get them working properly with Virtual DJ. Now the reason I'm doing this video is because I've only had these things about four weeks, and I, the first time I tried to hook them up to a laptop, I was having major problems. And now I scoured uh, YouTube, Googled, went in the Pioneer Pro DJ forums, and basically I got bugger all advice and I couldn't find anything to show me how to do it correctly. So I thought, I'll bite the bullet. I'll do a, I'll do a video on it. So uh, I'm just gonna pause the camera. Oh, before I do that, I just wanna say these are actually set up as you normally would set them up. They're just hooked into the mixer. I've got a couple of monitor speakers here. Um, so quite literally, if I uh, press this, press play on that, we should get something through. Yeah, well quite literally, the first thing you need to do before you hook them up to your laptop is just set up as you normally would. Um, if you're setting up for a gig, ignore these. If you're setting up a home DJ, Obviously you're going to have little satellite speakers, monitor speakers like these. You don't need to change anything. They stay as they are. Right, I'm going to pop, pause the camera, pop the laptop out and just show you how easy this, uh, this really is. So, we find a laptop up here. Now all we need is two of these, just USB 2 cables. And quite simply, I'll just show you this. You just plug the things in. On this side, goes into the uh, input there, or the output rather. And in the back of the CDJ itself, if you can see that, you can, there is an input just there for, if I can get it in, damn thing, the, uh, the cable, the USB cable that goes to the PC. And obviously we do this on both sides, so I'll just quickly hook this one in. And here's where I made my first mistake when I first tried to do it. What I did here is I just fired up Virtual DJ uh, and set both of these as, uh, as sound cards because they've got built-in sound cards. Then what happened is I got a load of distortion, fuzziness, things kept crashing and I thought there's something wrong here. So after a lot of research I found out the correct way to do it. Now the first thing you need to do before you even fire up Virtual DJ, is to actually download the ASO drivers from Pioneer. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna post a link up in the corner of this video, somewhere up there or up there. And uh, that is the first point of call for. You need to download those drivers and the accompanying software to get the computer to recognize the CDJ 400s as ASO compatible MIDI controllers. Okay, so everything's hooked in. Both CDJs now are hooked in via USB 2. I've fired up the software that came, uh, that I've downloaded from the Pioneer Pro DJ site, the CGJ, CDJ even, 400. ASO uh, driver settings utility. Now basically, with this, you can set the, uh, the buffer size and the latency for the CDJs. Um, I haven't played around with it that much but what I can tell you is that there is a setting I have it on which uh, gives you a buffer size of uh, 448 and a latency of 9.3 millisettings. Okay so if you have your settings like that if you go into that and set it like that I can tell you now all will be good. You'll have no crashes, no pops, no bangs, no whizzes. Uh, they will work like a dream. Okay 
So we close that down now. Now what we do is we just fire up Virtual DJ.